Hi everyone, my name is Melena and I'm a student at the University of Toronto. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make money appear out of thin air. By using only a couple household items like a glass and a plate, we will explore how the properties of light might affect the images our eyes see and might even trick us. These are the materials you will need for this experiment. Set a coin on a flat surface like a table or counter. Place the base of a clear drinking glass over the coin. Cover the mouth of the glass with a small saucer or plate. Looking in through the side of the glass, you can still see the coin. Now, tilt the saucer back and fill the glass with water. Once you've filled the glass, put the plate back onto the cup. Can you still see the coin through the side of the glass? It's disappeared. Take the plate off of the mouth of the glass. If you look straight through the bottom of the glass, through the water, you can see that the coin is still there. When we see an image, what we are seeing are all of the light waves that reach our eyes. The trick behind the disappearing money experiment is the refraction of light. Refraction is the bending of light as it passes from one transparent medium to another. When these light rays travel through air, they experience little or no true refraction. That's why you can still see through the other side of the empty glass. So when light rays are traveling from the money through the water, they are refracted and cannot make it to your eyes. The image ends up being projected near the top of the glass after the light refraction it has undergone. You would be able to see it if the saucer were not strategically placed at the top of the glass. When you poured water into the glass, it was as though the penny had disappeared, but it was really just some bending light rays. After traveling through the water and the side of the glass, none of the rays were able to reach your eyes. Refraction occurs because of the molecules and the substances that the light rays are passing through. Gas molecules are spread out. This is why little or no refraction occurs. However, when light rays pass through substance such as water, the refraction is greater because the molecules are closer together. Without refraction of light, we could not see any fine details happening or present around us or in the environment, since your corneas and lenses of the eyes enable this through refraction. Thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to try this experiment at home and tag Pueblo Science in your experimental results. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for more content. And comment down below what you would like us to cover next.